Hey everybody, just a really quick video today. We're looking at Logic 10.6.0, which was released today. We jumped from 10.5.1 to 10.6 with a new icon and what appears to be even more likelihood that eventually we're going to be seeing something like this in the realm of iPads. Uh, today really represents something that I didn't expect. I knew that we were going to be getting something because of the Big Sur that just dropped today with all of its problems. And um, I'm sure that many of you are going to be hesitant to upgrade to that given everything going on uh, with all the errors of downloading and things. But you can up upgrade to 10.6 in Logic Pro uh, without having to upgrade your entire system. So that's an interesting development. What we have in terms of new features are very limited. It's not a huge upgrade, um, but it does add the ability to control the step sequencer using the Logic Remote on your iPad or iPhone to create beats, bass lines, and melodic parts. And I think that's huge. The more you can add into the remote, the better. I think that that's a really smart thing to do. However, the bulk of what came then instead is what we call stability or reliability and reliability. So things like Logic Pro no longer quits unexpectedly when beaming a large number of notes in the score, making long recordings into quick sampler, etc. No longer hangs, resolves issues. And I want you to see this list here as we go down. Performance, live loops, And it just goes on and on. Sampler, quick sampler. Goes on and on and on. Step sequencer, remix effects, drag and drop, alchemy, plugins, automation. In some of these are new features, even though they're just calling them reliability things. Um, some of them actually are things which add actual functionality into things. But for the most part, they're fixing a lot of bugs. I mean, look, this list goes on and on and on and on. We're talking about a huge list of things. Then we get to 10.5.1. And so this is a huge, what I would like to call maintenance update. I don't know if I would go to 10.6, except the other thing that we do now have is compatibility with the new M1 processing computers. I'm excited to see how they work on there and what kind of things happen with that. But so far, I've uh, you know I've opened this up and I've been working inside of Logic a little bit, and everything so far seems to be working really well. I'm waiting for the other boot to drop. I'm waiting for everyone to point out some of the things that are going wrong. But here we are with an unexpected, unexpected huge update of fixes. And just really fixes. I mean, we have that new feature, but uh, this is really just a huge deal in terms of under the hood and uh, making things work as promised. And so I think that this is a, an exciting moment and uh, we're celebrating with a brand new Logic icon, obviously. And um, I feel like we're on the verge of you know getting this program where it should be and um, working as well as it could. For anyone who gets one of the new computers, definitely uh, be posting online and letting us know how it works with it. I'll be waiting to get one of those until it matures a little bit. I'm not in any rush to jump off of my current setup, but um, you know... It's exciting times with some exciting new things, and I'm, I'm hoping that we're going to be able to have just additional power and additional fun with uh, Logic Pro. Anyway, that's it for today. Hope you enjoyed the short look discussion about uh, the new 10.6.